Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank vs Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. Welcome to The Scale, coming to us from Glasgow, Scotland. He brings a professional record of 17 wins, three defeats, six wins by knockout. Let's welcome Joe Ham. Well, Joe Ham is the man assigned with stopping the rise of Dennis McCann. He is a former Team GB member. 121.5 for Joe Ham. And it's fight number 21. Now to the scale from Maidstone, Kent, England. Undefeated with 13 wins. Seven of his 13 wins come by way of knockout. He is the current WBO Youth Super Bantamweight Champion and also the WBC International Silver Featherweight Champion. Let's welcome Dennis the Menace McCann. Well, plenty of noise in here for Dennis McCann. Ever the showman bows before the audience. <laughs> Most important fight of his career. Let's see how he looks on the scales. 121.4 for Dennis McCann. Yep, he looks in good shape, as always. Yeah. To be he's the, he's the ever, ever the pro, isn't he? In this Commonwealth title, I mean, this, this division in this country, we just saw Liam Davis, of course, become the European champion last week in Telford. There's so many good fights. Chris Bork up in your gym as well. I mean, um, what a division. What a division. Good division, stack division. You know, all good fighters, the ones you named, and mm -hmm. all of them mixing it together would make some good fights. So. Well, Dennis McCann has been. To it. Yeah, well, I mean, th th this this guy here, Joe Ham, he's never he's never been stopped. Um, he's had, he's got a wealth of experience. He's boxed all around the world as an elite amateur. Yeah. And um, Dennis McCann's been promising that he's going to knock him out. <laughs> well, he he stopped. Um, James Beach. James Beach for the first yes. time the, the, the other time, so I wouldn't put it past him. I, I think. I think he'll go looking for it, and he's got the engine to, you know, to do it. You know, try and stop him all twelve rounds. So that's the thing. In his in his last fight, as as you just mentioned, there, James Beach had, had never been stopped. James yeah. Beach was was meant to be the toughest fight of his career. Every time someone gives him the toughest fight of his career, he he passes the test with flying colours, Denzel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, everyone's expecting him to you know pass this test of flying colours. Um, yeah, listen, it's no easy fight. This guy's mm -hmm. had a good amateur background. He's coming there to win. So I'm saying this is a big platform for him. He's seen it as he's. As his, as, as his biggest shot, but I think Dennis is, you know, one of the young top prospects coming through. And he's very explosive. I think he'll be all right. I think he'll do well. Let's see how they face off. It was pretty respectful uh, yesterday between the fighters at the press conference and their face off. I'm sure we won't see anything different here. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, these two competing tomorrow night live on BT Sport in a scheduled 12 round contest for the vacant Commonwealth Super Bantamweight Championship. Well, what's he got for him? There we go. <laughs> and there's the Haribos from Dennis McCann. The last opponent actually refused them. D James Beach, he just walked away and Dennis McCann had to sort of throw them at him. I want to so, um, We Dennis continue the way in process. <laughs>Channel 5 this Friday, two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank vs Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.